The arrival of Dr. Marlene Hernandez and her 99 colleagues spread in all the 47 counties in the country was met with storms of protest from their Kenyan health colleagues who argued that the arrival would mean that they will take away the few local jobs that are available. The jobs were being given in the medical sector without giving the local doctors an opportunity to compete for the same jobs. Nobody made any effort to determine whether these doctors are available here or not. On the other hand, the government defended this move of bringing in the medics, considering it as an important pillar in achieving universal health coverage, one of the big four pet projects of President Uhuru Kenyatta. There are people who give health care where the rubber touches the ground. And this is why the Cuban doctors are here. Because in Cuba, family medicine is fundamental to being qualified as a doctor. We want our health workers to begin with taking the family as the primary focus of reproduction. It has been two months since they were deployed to all the counties, including Kisumu, which has an estimated population of 1.2 million. But has their arrival cured anything in the ever healing health sector? Our case study being Kisumu, which has a high burden of communicable diseases and other infectious diseases. The burden has somehow reduced uh, because of the amount of work that has gone on. Uh, one thing that, is, that continues to be a challenge right now is maternal, child and adolescent health. And where we have a very high maternal mortality rate. We meet Dr. Hernandez, one of the three doctors who was deployed here, doing her once-per-week rotation of the dispensaries and health centers in semi sub location in Kisumu Rural. Although mimicking what she is used to back in Cuba, she still says that this is not what she expected. I accustomed to, to, to work with the community, with the patient, visit uh, his house, how he lives, what he could eat, uh, what she or he eat. Okay, and here is only in the dispensary, in this hospital, it's not the community. Though not communicating in it very well, Dr. Hernandez speaks English as it was used as a prerequisite for hiring all of them. In fact, they underwent a two-week induction program before being deployed and she is learning it quite fast. The mother of one is alive to the fact that this is a challenge and hence is more than happy to use the services of Aflin Nundu, a biomedical science graduate from Cuba, a local who is literally at the center of her success in this particular area. No, because she is here. <laughs> For me, the language barrier is not there because I can speak Luo, I can speak Swahili, I speak English, and now I speak Spanish, and I can also speak French. You may mistake the easy flow of communication and her soothing smile to be the ease by which she conducts her job. Though she loved to read and learn languages, she never imagined that this was where she would get her daily bread. We were sent then to come back and help our people back in Kenya. So though what I'm doing now, I didn't expect it because by then we didn't have interchanges whereby the Cuban doctors were coming to Kenya, though they, go to other, they used to go to other countries. An important figure whose traits have to be proficiency, patience and accuracy. A towering figure that Dr. Hernandez and the patient depend on for easy flow of information and proper treatment. A fault on her part spells doom to the patient's life. Once they are given drugs, they don't know what time to take the drugs. We've had cases whereby a drug should be, be taken before eating. They will use it after eating. Dr. Hernandez says that though she misses home, adapting to a new environment that offered nothing much but anxiety has never been a problem. No, it's like, like, like Cuba. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Rice, beans, bread, uh, butter, um, potato, sweet potato. It's the same. I, my family call me every time. Well, I hope. For me. Boasting of over 20 years of pure devotion and comprehensive care to patients of all ages through all the stages of life, she knows that the biggest challenge that the country still has is to know what a family physician does. In Kenya, we don't understand what is a family doctor. The importance of the family doctor, because the family doctor, his or her work is to prevent. 
The locals in Kombe were finding it hard to spell out her name. She was christened a more familiar easy name, maybe with the hope that that will make her understand the local Luo dialect. We had to get a, a name, more friendly name, because they couldn't pronounce Mylene well or Hernandez. So we decided on a name that is more comfortable. The presence of Dr. Kinyi bringing the much-needed relief to the residents here who speak goodness in her, talking of how her arrival has impacted on their lives. Communicable disease still remains the biggest disease burden of not only the local residents, but also the county, as Jacqueline Onyango, the clinical officer in charge of Rodi Health Center, notes. It's uh, malaria, and uh, I'm happy because uh, we can test it. We have uh, actually injuries because, I don't know, because of the geographical features of the area, you can get clients having cartoons here and there, and again, uh, Another disease by then, probably, which is worldwide, is uh, HIV. For a county which is still struggling to eradicate malaria, something which was fully eradicated in Cuba more than three decades ago, grappling with huge maternal and child health deaths which they managed to beat 14 years ago, mother-to-baby transmission of HIV and AIDS, which they don't have now, Jacqueline says that she has learned so much but still has much to learn from Dr. Hernandez, especially in regards to working in undeserved rural areas. I learned a few things uh, depending on how Kenyan curative is done. Okay. Uh, that one maybe is on how you're handling the client from history and then of course uh, medication prescription. Kisumu County is just an example of how counties have found ways of remedying the language barrier, which for the longest time has been mentioned to be the only impediment that may have led to the failure of the success of Cuban doctors in the country. It has been two months since the 100 Cuban doctors arrived in the country. If what the local residents are saying is anything to go by, then the local health facility will greatly benefit from Dr. Hernandez and her 100 counterparts spread in all the 47 counties in Kenya. Aumo Nyango, reporting for KUTV from Rodi Dispensary in Kisumu County.